All right, guys, welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. So listen, we're going to be doing something um, essentially that I want to do, and that's kind of cover uh, the Labyrinth, which is something that some people have been asking me to, to talk about because uh, some people are having trouble completing it. And I'm going to give you guys some strategies in terms of how to tackle the Labyrinth specifically. There is a strat that everybody should be doing, um, especially when you're stuck, because there is specific um, buffs and items that you can collect along the way to make your life a lot easier. So if you're not there yet, I've saved this specifically for this. I'm on nightmare mode, which is going to give you 100% of the relic powder and 100% of the um, soul crystals together, which allow you to buy more relic fragments. Plus everything gets a little bit more tough in this, in this stage. Now you unlock nightmare mode after you finish hard mode seven times. That's just the way it works. Once you unlock it, you may or may not be able to tackle it, but that's why I want to talk about this because here's how nightmare mode works, okay? You encounter far stronger enemies, but you get far better rewards. You get 100% more increase in the actual soul crystals and refined dust. The many martyr uh, warriors have also been increased. Uh, furthermore, weak rays will not appear in nightmare difficult mode. They're all strong. And then the treasure boss will actually uh, provide better treasures, okay? So we're going to talk about this, we're going to explore it together, and I'm going to show you guys how to tackle this and the way you want to go about it. So first off, you should have some form of uh, free items here. So you should have this here, which will remove the cursed effects that are going on on the map, and then you should have this here, which lets you execute one of the uh, one of the enemies on the, on the map as well. So what you want to do here, guys, is you essentially want to get all of these items, as many as you can. Pandora's Box, for example, it re recommends who to use. If you put that unit in there, it gives you a 75%, sometimes, sometimes 100% chance. I don't actually have uh, a support class hero here in this slot, so they're recommending you use Karnak. Now, 75% chance I get to use some sort of a buff. I did get it perfectly. I got blessed. So now I can pick either the unit here, the units here, I should say, or I can pick right over here the bottom buff, which increases damage reduction of all allies by 5%, can be stacked repeatedly. So because I don't have either of those units on my main team, I'm going to go on. Now, what you normally would do is you'd avoid this boss if you have a choice. And then you go ahead and collect as many of these items as you can until you're stuck and you have to fight somebody, right? So let's continue going here. Now this is Medusa. We know that. Silhouette. This will also give you a buff here, right? So you can either go with uh, Atropus with damage boost 200%, which is massive. Or you can go with the critical damage boost of all allies by 15% and can be stacked. So we'll go for that. And then continue going here until you hit a roadblock and you can't find additional items to get. So this is going to be uh, Percival. And again, uh, increase damage, critical damage boost again, and you keep going. So now you look, now you see I'm a little stuck, right? So what I, what you want to do here is you look at the weakest enemy on the list. So for example, this one here has seven, seven point six million. This one here has hundred million, <laughs> a lot more. Uh, this one here has nine point nine, right? So the weakest enemy is this one. So you go ahead and do. A, I'm gonna do a quick challenge for you guys. Uh, my team is as follows: the ethereal team, including Nyx. Um, for the extra buff for Holy Shield. And you guys can see that pretty much clears that. Now you want to aim for these altars as quick as you can, and you want to mainly go for the faction that you're using. So Ethereals would be my faction here. So they're gonna get a buff now by having this altar. Again, avoid these until you get a little more powerful if you're having problems. I'm gonna play, I'm gonna pretend like I'm having problems. So I'm gonna play like somebody here who uh, is the first time jumping in here. So I'm gonna go with crit again. So that's three stacks of crit. Greedy Amulet here is great, uh, gives you more rewards throughout, right, as you kill these enemies. So you guys can see here, I'm jumping around, making sure there's nothing I'm missing. Go up here, this should pop up. Okay, so back to this now. This is the weakest enemy, get this out of the way. Quick challenge, you get yourself 1.5% dust. And that's kind of another reason why you don't want to attack all the units, right? You want to actually find that Greedy Amulet as quick as you can and take advantage of the 1.5% extra bonus on that one attempt. Now, I could have killed obviously a more difficult enemy to get that because it is a one-time shot for the greedy amulet so next time remember that if you can tackle a stronger enemy do so okay so here you go you get another blessed item another this is crit rate this time not crit damage so that's even that's pretty good there's another altar uh in this case i don't have anybody so i'll go avengers because i do use them more often than the rest and then remember these here don't just use them to use them guys save them okay when you need them because if you look at your heroes you can see the hp bar here if you don't need it don't waste it. It's just it's just a massive waste. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and continue. Quick challenge this. Finish that off. You guys can see here my heroes are still all good. Now, here the potion, right? You don't have any curse. This is where you would jump on it. If you jumped on this, for example, watch. So I'm cursed. 
Now you use the potion, curse is gone, okay? That's the point of the potions. You use them there when you're cursed. I just want to show you guys how that worked so you guys are aware of it. Let's keep going here. Uh, there's another curse, so avoid that. To avoid those curses, just move around and get away from them. I'll go ahead and clear this out for you guys. And you guys, I'll show you guys what the last boss looks like as well, okay? And also the, the treasure uh, enemy, which is going to be Medusa again. So let's just clear all these guys out. Just because, again, for me, this is not difficult. But for some of you, strategy is going to matter a lot. Now, somebody pointed out that they would like me, um, like me to cover positioning in this game. And I'm more than happy to do that for you guys. Because positioning makes a massive difference in progression. Depending where you are on the battlefield compared to who you're attacking, you can lose or you can win, depending on that. So positioning is one of the best strategies in this game, in any idle game, realistically, right? So this is Mastima. Hopefully we get a buff for him. We don't, so we'll increase damage boost this time. And you guys can see here, I'm still going along, making sure that I'm not missing anything. So we have another one. This is Atalanta. Uh, no, we don't need anybody else here. So continue on with our trek here. We still haven't found uh, the boss yet that drops the tread. There we go. There she is. It's most likely Medusa. I think it's always Medusa. I don't think it's ever been anyone different. Here's another one. Get this. 100%. Oh, perfect. Dorabella one. You instantly take it if you're using her. Uh, go Avengers again. Again, I don't have any Avengers on my team, but in case I decide to use them, I can, right? So here's the boss, pops up. Now this is going to be a, a big, big version in comparison to the other ones. You guys can see here, he's uh, all fire, hell, and brimstone. Uh, so the Lost Merchant here has decent items. Remember to pick up the ones that make the most sense at the highest. Like, don't buy this at 10% off. It's not worth it. 40% off is not bad. Like, I've got 20. I don't really need it. 20% off, meh, not worth it. The rest of them are not that good. So I'm going to avoid that. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and get my Relic Decree, because yes, I did buy this, by the way, and it's worth it for me. Um, we'll go ahead and, and just quickly heal, just in case we need it. I don't think we do. And then go ahead and fight this boss now. Collect all the rewards, including the key, and you can go ahead and get the key afterwards, right? So let's just battle. Okay, you guys can see here, here's the boss. I'm just going to fast forward this so nobody has to be watching the actual battle. But you guys saw my team set up already. This should be 100%. Perfect. And then we take this, we finish off this guy here, because you do want 100% on the map as well, by the way. You get exploration points as you clear these. Uh, so the only thing left here is this treasure chest. And then after that, you can see the expedition uh, rewards, right? Defeat X amount of people. Make sure you do them. It's, it's worth it. You get yourself a lot of relics for doing that, okay? And then the last boss right here, I'll let you guys actually watch the fight. Um, Lavermis. Sounds like an R&B singer, to be honest with you. Uh, he's nasty looking. The nasty looking mofo. Okay, so let's watch this battle here. You guys can kind of see. Like, it's it's not a hard battle by, by any means. Um, but for a lot of you free-to-play players, Nightmare Mode is something you definitely want to tackle this way, guys. You want to tackle it in a manner of getting all the items first, using all the items, getting as many of these relics as you can along the way, and then finally tackling the, the enemies, like, weakest to strongest, while you get your buffs right the altars are are a big big part of it so make sure you collect all the altars there you go uh enemies dead you guys can see here rewards six four and four hundred there four four thousand four hundred and then now this finishes nemesis off and that gives you the usual stuff here okay so there you guys go pretty decent rewards right so not bad of course you get more relic decrees and then we can go back here now and you guys can see it's all finished 100% and let's go back and do a quick little summon actually before we do the summon let's open up that treasure chest first let's do this too Brutus I love his animation like his actual like animation looks so cool okay so we have this I've got 20 there um, I probably want to do Excalibur next trying to get this out of the way okay so there's that and then you have this treasure chest that drops you just it's random right it gives you anything randomly eh, not the greatest that's okay and then we have this here too, okay? So we're gonna do 15. Let's get that out of the way. And then if we go to our relics now, you should see one can advance. So advance that. There we go, got ourselves a three star, I believe, right, three star? Yeah, it looks like a three star, cool. 
Okay, and then we have all of these ones still ready to go and level up. So important to note that guys, uh, leveling your your relics are is is a is a like a huge power spike. So don't neglect them. Like go through them all and try to give them a little bit of love here in order to keep them up to date. I need to do that one next. And then you'll see your power increase quite a bit, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and go and jump into here and then do a few summons. We've got 28 now, which is which is great. Uh, I have yet to see a legendary. I saw somebody today in my guild who got it, and I was like, the fudge? They got the scythe. Uh, so let's hope on uh, uh, like on this video I can actually get something, because that would be really, really awesome. Now, the animation I don't think changes. I've never seen a different animation. Uh, there's a phantom saw. Oh, wow. Two in a row. A rare. Nice, nice, nice. Two full rares, too. Okay, we got two more left, guys. Okay, common drops commonly or uncommon I should say sorry um, we're almost at the point where we can get ourselves another 30 Oof. yeah I mean not too close though so I'm gonna wait how many days two days left so I should be able to get this last 30 here and then that will set me at 57 of these and then I'm gonna try to aim for something else here maybe yeah yeah probably do that okay guys there you guys go I hope the strategy helped I will be doing more strategy uh, guys for you just so you guys are aware I am still working on the northern expedition the bosses are fun man let me tell you guys the bosses are hella fun um, so I'll be doing some guides on some of these bosses I'm currently working on hard mode I had to stop due to work but I'm on this boss here and uh, it is a lot a lot of fun let me tell you it's it's uh, the strategy involved in this is pretty damn cool um, and you are required to get many of these uh, last talents up the synergy talents uh, the, sorry the the, the rune, ta rune ta ta talents because for example this boss can't be hurt unless you dodge yeah yeah fun times so you guys can see I'm missing I'm missing one of these guys so I need to get a striker I need to find one in order to get the dodge bonus for this to be a little easier right and the way you do that is you go to your characters and you can see here there's the striker bonus right there and these are the characters that have the striker uh, buff on them right so you want to make somebody get it <laughs> it's very important to do so uh, it looks like I do have somebody though hold on hold on a sec what's going on here what's going on here let's just let's trust let's just do this real quick Nyx has it. Why, why aren't they giving it to me? Hey, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. We got this. No, not Dorabella. Nyx. So who, who's missing it? Oh, right there. I have everybody. What, what's going on with this? Okay, there you go. Three strikers. Yeah, let me just show you guys the battle. If you guys, if you guys are curious to see it, right? I mean, you don't have to, but watch what happens here. The boss goes into full-on um, immunity mode, where you can't hurt him. Damage immunity. So what has to happen here... I'm just going to show you guys how this works, at least so you guys get an idea. So what has to happen here is all of these plants, like this is all useless. You don't need to do any of this. Uh, they only take damage when you dodge. So if you dodge, like you see that right there, that damage? Look, essentially all the plants need to die before you die. That's that's the goal here. So uh, I'm going to tell you guys now, Shadow, Shadow March units, if you guys can get that synergy going as well, uh, you will also get additional dodge. But I don't know if Shadow March works with strikers actually doesn't so because you have to use strikers uh in order to get the, the extra 40 percent bonus and that's way higher so this is how the boss works it's kind of fun to be honest like it's it's a cute little idea uh it's different that's for sure and you can't really hurt the boss but you also have to survive this entire little onslaught of his and uh it's it's really cool i hope you guys enjoy northern expedition when it drops for you guys i think it's a lot of fun uh and the rewards are banging let me tell you all right guys anyways this is pain hope you enjoyed the video i'll talk to you guys in the next one